Hey guys, uh, this is Nico. I play keys and make beats as Anomaly, and I'm gonna show you like a quick overview of the setup that I use for my live show, which is built around Ableton Live and features a lot of Keyscape and Omnisphere. And so the main idea behind this whole setup or project is to be able to use multiple patches within the context of like a 90 minute plus show. And so I am automating basically different instances of sounds and effects on and off depending on when I need them or not in order to free some very valuable resources on the computer. And so uh, there are different aspects to this thing. Uh, there's the session itself and then there's the controller setup. So as you can see, uh, the keyboard is slightly tilted. The main purpose of that is really to make it so that people can kind of like have a visual connection and see what is going on because I feel like personally, uh, the keyboard can kind of be like a mysterious or nebulous instrument where you don't really know if someone is actually playing something, especially when it comes to synths. And so this makes it that there's a visual connection that's maybe slightly closer to what you'd see from like a singer or a guitar player when they're shredding or doing a solo. And then uh, with these little controllers here, I'm able to navigate through the set list I have different uh, controls that I can use to map effects depending on the patch I'm currently on. So like a, obviously pitch pen, model wheel, but in the expression pedal, which I was actually introduced through uh, Mauricio at Spectrosonics who showed me how incredible this was as a controller to use for the wall on the clav, but it could be used for like the dry wet of uh, any effect you want uh, to open up the filter on a synth and so on and so on. And so uh, the set list that we have uh, is currently made up of about uh, 28 or 29 songs and then per song we'd have you know maybe like a hundred ish instances of atmosphere in in this show and uh it's pretty cool it's pretty fun idea is that there is one MIDI track at the very top of the project called Tracking that's basically constantly record enabled. It's constantly receiving MIDI signal from this and then through something called the Chain Selector in Ableton, it is basically allowing me to automate all of my patch changes during the show. And then these MIDI tracks, as I said earlier, will be turning on or off depending on when those sounds are needed or not. And then for example, the actual VSTs or sound sources will be uh, sitting beneath or lower in the projects where they'll be automated on and off. And for example, here I'll have like the, one of the plucks for my track Metropole. This little square wave patch uh, called the Bouncy Plucker. And then for example, like the main part of that song will consist of like four or five different Omnisphere instances that basically respond to each other. So like instead of having one piano part or one lead part, it's basically like four different sounds that are used in quick succession with like little themes. And that's where this comes in ha super handy because I don't have to be an octopus and just memorize like a pattern of choreography. I can just play and not worry about it, but obviously spend a lot of time programming it in the first place, but uh, I would not be doing it any other way. It's super useful. And then uh, for Alexi, who's playing aux keys, and then for Gap, who's playing uh, bass and synth bass, we have a very similar setup where it's an Ableton Live session with several Omnisphere patches in both uh, uses as well. So for Alexi, it's pretty much the same idea, like we're talking about uh, maybe 80 or 90 different Omnisphere instances. And then for Gap, it'll be few because most of the patches will be done through like series of virtual effects and pedals reacting to the actual signal of the electric bass. But there are a few patches for certain songs where we want to preserve the sound of the recording. And so he's loading the proper Keyscape and or Omnisphere or Keyscape creative patches when they're needed. Ellie, put your hands up! <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the setup. Uh, I wish you the best, thank you so much for watching. Uh, in case you missed it, I just dropped a record last April called Gallery. Uh, it's a 10 track record that features a lot of my upright piano at home. And it's been such a joy to work with several collaborators on it. So if you have a chance, check it out and uh, take care and see you in the next one. Peace.